Jean may have been the wife that saved the bacon, but watching her eat a plate of nachos nearly doused Cody's growing affection for her. Hi. Cody wrote, Christine was the cutest girl in the world, although she was a little chubby. I will be honest, I was not attracted to Christine in any kind of physical sense. I mean, I So you were not physically attracted to Christine? That's an understatement. You were grossed out by her? I won't say that, but the nachos grossed me out enough to make me go, okay, I'm waiting to marry her. Hey everyone, it's Katie from Without a Crystal Ball. Welcome back to my channel. It is Wednesday, April 19th, 2023. Yesterday, it was Christine Brown's birthday. She turned 51 years old. And for her birthday, she went out on a date with her fiance, David Woolley. And what did they do? They celebrated her big day with a plate, actually a pan of nachos. I don't know if this is just a way to ring in the brand new year and show that she can eat nachos and not be gross, but this troll by Christine and David to Cody is so obvious, it is so on point, and fans are losing it with the hysterics over this, this moment because David Woolley has a sense of humor and he said to Cody in these posts, Christine is not your woman anymore. Okay, that pun is intended. So Man, just the knife in the kidneys over all these years. And the sacrifices that I made to love you. Wasted. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with the nacho story, we're gonna dive in and we're also gonna show you what the post said by Christine and David, but this was the most brilliant moment of the year. If everything that we've gone through watching this show and the pain we've had to endure, just like a polygamist, endure to the end, this post made it literally all worth it for us, I think, right? Yeah. Okay. So let's dive into today's topic of Christine and David troll Cody with these nacho cheese birthday extravaganza. Before we do, can you do me a big favor and give this video a thumbs up? Also subscribe to my channel if you've not yet subscribed by clicking on the subscribe button down below. Make sure to leave a comment if you have something to say and share this video with your friends. April 18th, 2023 marks the 51st birthday of Miss Christine Brown. I wonder if she's gonna become Christine Woolley. And she and David marked the occasion by apparently going to Costco. I mean, that's what, why else would you not go to Costco on your birthday? It's a Tuesday. But uh, she and David also stopped by a place to eat nachos for her birthday, which fans were cracking up at. So both Christine and David posted these to their, fate, to their Instagram. Christine Brown's post said, Thanks for the fun nacho date, love. I feel blessed to have someone to laugh with. Nachos, nachos live, simple things, simple date. I love you. And then there's like multiple pictures that she shared of her and David. One with a massive pan of nachos, David feeding nachos to her, David hamming it up for cameras and so forth. And then on David's nacho video on David's nacho post. He wrote, happy birthday. I just love eating nachos with you, my queen. My queen, Christine Brown, soulmate, hashtag nachos. And then again, they shared the same posts or the same photographs. I have to tell you, I have zero idea where these nachos came from, but everyone in my comments was like, oh my gosh, I want nachos now. Now, Sister Wives fans know that this is a huge running joke on the show. Well, it's not even a running joke. It's a running insult with Cody because Cody literally wrote about Christine in the book about how he got grossed out watching her eat a plate of chili cheese nachos. It was then discussed on a tell-all that subsequently has been disappeared from. Like you cannot find this tell-all literally anywhere. It's almost like the nacho gate is trying to be hidden by TLC, just saying. And that tell-all clip exists only in like this 
shaky Reddit post where I shared with you from the very beginning. But he says that he was not attracted to her and they read this excerpt from the book from Becoming Sister Wives. So if you don't have the book, I'll share with you the excerpt as we speak right now. So this is about, this is from the chapter of Cody and Christine talking about their love story. What love story is complete without saying that your loved one that you fell in love with is chubby eating nachos? So when we set out on our road trip, I was convinced that Christine was the cutest girl in the world, although she was a little chubby. Back then, I was young and superficial, <laughs> enough to care about physical appearance, right? After we'd been on the road all night, we stopped at a gas station. I'd been drinking soda pop to stay awake and my stomach felt sour and upset. Just thinking about food made me queasy. Interesting that he will drink soda to stay awake to drive, but they won't drink coffee. I guess caffeine is, depend, it depends on what caffeine is like acceptable. Christine went into the Quickie Mart and I bought my, and bought herself what seemed to look like the largest portion of chili cheese nachos that I'd ever seen. The sight of those nachos turned my stomach. I couldn't even watch her eat them. She must have been starving because she was eating so quickly and there was chili sauce and nacho cheese everywhere. Some, for some reason, he decided that this was a story that needed to be added into the, into the book. Like, it's humiliating to her and it shows that he's a jerk for like being grossed out by her eating ch chili cheese nachos. Looking back, I hate myself for the thoughts I had at the moment, but the sight of this chubby girl in my, cower, in my car devouring chili cheese nachos for breakfast put the brakes on our relationship. It brought out the most superficial and shallowest side of me. I still liked her. In fact, I liked her very much, but the nacho experience cooled my tr attraction a little. Well, a lot. So in the book, Cody says that a trip to Wyoming when they were like all on this road trip, and Christine was there. She was also with some other people. They were, I think they were going up to the ranch or something. I'm not sure. But he's grossed out because it's the middle of the night. She's starving and she gets a snack probably because they've been driving and it might be the closest thing that she can find to sustenance. And because somehow she's chubby and eating nachos, it grosses him out. And for some reason, this had to make the book. And obviously fans, when this all came out, it was a, a contentious point in the book because it was insulting to her weight. It was insulting to her appearance. And it was like the one of the few times in this book where he was very critical of someone's appearance, whereas he didn't have the same critical things to say about them and have weird stories about them eating. It was just a very odd ad. Christine tried to respond to this like a champ and said, of course, I had no idea that I grossed out Cody with my nachos. I was an overweight kid who liked junk food a little too much. And out of all the junk food in the world, chili cheese nachos were my favorite. When we finally got to the ranch, Cody transformed into a hero. He was a stud. All the girls on the tri trip watched him with their mouths wide open, myself included. I'd seen Cody in action back in Utah. I'd seen him display his talents in church and I'd seen how he transformed himself into life of every party, but now I was seeing a whole new side of him. He was the complete cowboy. So the incident wasn't a huge issue for Christine because he never talked to her about it. But for some reason, Cody says watching a chubby girl eat nachos grossed him out. It didn't stop this man from marrying her, having six kids with her, uh, convincing her to stay in a relationship where she was not happy, where he was not attracted to her. And that lack of attraction carried through to their throughout their entire relationship. He made comments numerous times on the show that he was not attracted to her. He made comments that he got married to her because he wanted the, the ego of it, because it was like status, because her grandfather was the prophet or had been the prophet until his death. And because of that, because of her name, he felt like he could get clout from it. He was egotistical and he was driven by ego. We can unravel this farther because it's true that I wasn't attracted to you when we got married. I felt pressured into the marriage. I, I did not know better okay. at the time. Christine, of course, by becoming the third wife, obviously was guaranteed a spot in heaven. Now on the show, she had this 
whole long explanation about why she felt like the third wife was the best because it was like you don't want to be the first wife and the second wife is a wedge and the third wife is supposed to fix everything but the truth is based on their doctrine you're not guaranteed into heaven until you have three at a minimum wives if not more the more wives the better and so girls young girls are often encouraged to marry men that have more than two wives so they're guaranteed in heaven if you marry a man and you're the first wife there's no guarantee he will take on more wives there's no guarantee that he will become a you know a celestial being enough that he'll have enough wives to get into the highest ranks of heaven so the men that have the more wives end up getting more and more wives because it guarantees the women a spot in heaven and therefore the other men don't end up getting or collecting as many wives that's why most men in this cult don't have more than one or two wives because they're simply not enough so cody was grossed out by this and the attraction issue came up in season 17 and now cody is getting trolled by david and christine now obviously this had fans rolling in their seats people were literally laughing hysterically on both christine and david's post even janelle did a laughing emoji signaling that she understood the joke and there's been a lot put out in the media by robin and, and cody i'm assuming indicating that christine and is trolling him, right? And so I felt like this was actually a response to all of these articles that are coming out that are accusing Christine and him of trolling. So the articles continue to say that Christine is using things like my king and my queen because that's something that Cody and Robin do and that she's doing all these things about love of my life and soulmate because she's trying to get to Cody and Robin. I don't know if those posts were trying to get to Cody and Robin, but this post was for sure aimed at them and I don't think it was necessarily that the previous posts were aimed at Cody but this was so obvious that it was a response to one the nachos claiming I don't and to me what it tells me about David is he's saying I don't care what she looks like I don't care what her size is I'm not going to be as superficial as you I'm going to love her regardless I'm not going to write a book about her eating nachos I'm going to enjoy these damn nachos with her and guess what Cody she's not yours anymore to me, it's like sort of like throwing shade and then marking their territory. Aren't guys cute? Like they have to mark their territory. And then it's also a fun way for him to show his, I guess, his side, his personality, which we haven't really been able to see. Obviously, they look very happy and they look like they're ecstatic. And I just want to share a few reactions from my Instagram, from my followers on how they viewed that photo. Someone said, Oh, fun, how funny. I wonder if Cody Wynn has seen Christine live in the good life. And they tagged Cody. Another person said, I love this. Both deserve every single ounce of it. Christine finally found her Mr. Rice. Right. Awesome. So happy for them both. Now I want nachos. LOL. <laughs> then someone said was like, there were lots of like, like comments like, I love it. I'm loving it. Oh, that looks delish. But there was some people that were like critical. And I don't know if this was Cody behind a fake account, but it says, this is giving off extra vibes. Cody is a douche, no doubt about that. But why is Christine's new king wasting her time trolling her ex on social media? Whole relation, this whole relationship feels like it was made for TV. Frankly, I feel like this is a response because one, the, the nacho issue has come up so frequently. There's been an ongoing like meme that went out about Christine and nachos and it said like nacho wife. Cody again in the tell all said he wasn't attracted to her and I just think it was like something they couldn't get away from and a lot of fans have just been asking her to do something like this and I think she's just having fun. But it is for sure a troll and while some people will think it's funny, others will think like he's being immature. I frankly think it's just him having fun and he's getting... He's going to get crapped on no matter what he does because it's the sister wives. There's always going to be haters. Uh, so you just have to like go with the flow here. He's like damned if he does and damned if he, he doesn't. You know what I'm saying? But someone else pointed out this. I love everything about this. I think I saw someone else say it, but David turned a crappy, hurtful, and embarrassing memory into a positive, happy, and hilarious one. I love that this little story has a happier ending now. I absolutely love this take on it because it's true. It's true. David turned a hurtful story that has really plagued Christine and been this like thorn in the side of her for years and turned it into a moment where he really embraced eating nachos with her and showing, giving her some confidence. And I'm sure like when you're coming out of a situation where a man has been so degraded, degrading towards you and has been hammering away at you for decades that he's not attracted to you to have someone like take over and like take the nachos over 
You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm taking back the story about the nachos. That's kind of what I got from that. Someone else sort of echoed the same thing and I said, I love that he took some things that was probably one of the most hurtful things and turned it into a good loving thing for her. Someone else said, I guess he's not grossed out by you eating nachos like it did Cody. When you actually love someone, you don't care how they eat and what they eat. So happy that you have your person. Other, another person said, or, oh my God, a knife in the kidneys. There was a lot of comments, frankly, about the kidneys. So Cody is going to be out of kidneys after he sees this. One thing that some, I, I saw a couple comments in my thing and they said that it seems immature for them to do this. And like I said, I don't know. You have to like decide what you're gonna do. Are you going to let something that has hurt you for decades really hurt you? Or are you gonna take your power back with your new spouse soon to be spouse and just be like, screw it, we're gonna eat nachos and this guy loves nachos. Cody's had a lot of power over her life and a lot of things over her life and a lot of times in therapy, and I don't know if she's in therapy, they will say to do things that have triggered you in the past and like create a new memory with that trigger. So if the chili cheese nachos was a trigger and made her feel like she didn't have any confidence, one trigger could, one thing to do would be to create memories around nachos that are positive so that she no longer feels triggered about eating nachos. Another way to get Cody angry is by showing that she is happy. Now, will she get over this and like move forward and not throw the shade constantly? Yes. Is the shade going to continue to flow? Yes. Are some of her posts probably trying to get back at Cody? I'm sure. Is this shade at Cody? Absolutely. But I still am here for it. And I'm glad she has found someone to eat nachos with because gosh darn it, nachos are delicious and now I want nachos. People's opinions of David are going through the roof. I even posted this on my YouTube channel and a lot of the comments on my YouTube in the community tab were all about how they just love David now. So can you see what, can you imagine what behind the scenes Cody's reaction will be to this? Tell me, do you think that he's all, ah, it's a knife in the kidney or it's, uh, well, I wasn't attracted to you and the nachos gross, or is it, it feels like a backstab? Tell me in the comments below. Bye guys.